Hey, it's the Best Advice Show. I'm Zach, and today we're going to talk about fashion and comfort. My guest is my old friend, Sandy Danto. Sandy's a comedian living in Los Angeles, and he thinks a lot about sweatpants and their utility in our contemporary life. Sandy thinks, he doesn't just think, Sandy actually does this. When he goes to a wedding, he will bring sweatpants and a pair of comfortable shoes to change into after the pictures are taken. He'll keep his shirt and tie on, but will change his pants and shoes. Sometimes weddings, they start at five and you're, you're there. If you go to the after party all through the night, that's way too long to be uncomfortable. I'm sorry. When did you start doing this? Um, about a year or two into like the wedding circuit. So maybe like 10 years ago. And where do you put your sweatpants and your comfortable shoes for the, during the first part of the night? Depending on purse dependent on my wife. Um, you know, if she's got a big enough purse in there, otherwise, you know, I'll just bring a little bag and I'll tuck it away somewhere when i first get there if i'm close enough with the bride and groom i'll ask if i can put it in their little suite Mm -hmm. otherwise i just immediately seek out a hiding spot or if i get stuck in a conversation i'm holding on to this ridiculous bag with crocs and sweatpants (laughs) in it until i can or and have to put it under my chair during the ceremony and then find it then put it at my table if you're thinking to yourself right now what have we become why can we not just remain in our formal attire all night must we be comfortable at all times well you're on your own with that thought i'm with sandy here you know it's one thing to show up to a wedding in sweatpants that i can't say you know i respect it but i don't condone it (laughs) (laughs) but anyone who might judge me for changing into sweatpants if it's not a positive judgment i just don't have time for you you know that you don't need those people to approve of you right i'm doing something for the greater good of not just myself but all of mankind i'm showing you that this is okay it's okay to be comfortable pictures are taken have you seen this catch on at all i i'm trying to spread the gospel about it and i think people have but i just haven't seen it i haven't been to a ton of weddings in the last uh however many years because of the pandemic but you and I both used to wear like big, like cargo sweatpants in high school and college. Are the sweatpants that you bring to the wedding a little classier, a little more form fitting? Well, especially with the pandemic, I bought a couple pairs of dry clean only sweatpants. So dry clean your... only sweatpants. Yeah, I got a pair of cashmere sweatpants. I got a pair of terry cloth sweatpants that they're hand wash or dry clean but the the cashmere sweatpants are dry clean only and my mom was like if your grandma knew you had dry clean only sweatpants she would roll in her grave i was like you know she should be proud of me this is progress that, (laughs) that i could live a life like this Sandy Danto. He's a sweatpant wearing actor and comedian in Los Angeles. His album Daddy Boy, recorded live in San Francisco from the punchline, is available and hilarious. Here's an excerpt from track three of that album. Not surprisingly, that track is called, yep, Sweatpants. Anybody else wish they were wearing sweatpants right now? (laughs) That's it? Four woos and one yes? It's raining outside, it's cold, and only four woos and one yes about wishing they were wearing sweatpants. Is anybody wearing sweatpants? I love wearing sweatpants in public, lets everyone know. Don't expect anything from me. (laughs) Old women hold the door for me. Homeless guys offer change and half burnt cigarettes to me. 
What sucks about wearing sweats in public is... If you have some advice about finding comfort in a world that isn't always welcoming it, well, I would love to hear it. Give me a call on the hotline at 844-935-BEST. That's 844-935-BEST. In the meantime, if you like this show, please leave me a rating or review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Thank you.